hello everybody hope this video meets you well i pray that you're fine and dandy let's get started in today's video so before i continue guys um i don't know when i'm going to like upload edit upload because i have a lot of things that are in my hands please keep me in your prayers i will appreciate that i pray that you're fine and dandy let's pray in the name of jesus father thank you so much for your love thank you for your care thank you for everything that you do in us with us and through us we love you and i love you let your word come forth with boldness, accuracy. Let it be backed with power. And at the end of the day, take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for staying put. Now, I want to talk about something again that um, has been on my mind. The other day, after I did some prayers and stuff like that, and, you know, being fellowshipping and everything, immediately I was about to get up. I heard a very loud wheel, and um, it wasn't good at all. It was a cry and this guy i don't know the his voice but it was a cry and he wept and said his portfolio is down more than 50 percent now i don't know if it's only the coins that he bought and uh and all whatnot now let me retrace let me go back to some other videos that i had but i've not had time to edit them do them and upload them guys i'm telling you there's actually a lot so a few months ago, I saw a chart now of Wikicat. I saw it go down by $800,000 and I saw it going down. Then I think it was about, uh, was it 5.9? Yeah, I think it was 5.9 million thereabouts. I saw it and I shared it with um, one of my sisters, just like by text, like, hey, you know, this is what I saw and all whatnot. Now, I didn't do the video because I noticed that it already did that 800,000 like it went down by that 800,000 I think it went to 4.9 sorry I think initially it was at 5.9 and I think it went to 4.9 and then it went back up or something along those lines now in that uh, dream I saw it it kept going down so as it was going down I didn't know where it was but the number I saw 800,000 so I knew it was going to decrease by 800,000 minimum now it did that and it even went down because by the time i woke up from that dream it was still going down but i didn't see the number where it went down to but i noticed it decreased to eight hundred thousand. now months later now that has already been fulfilled now i'm not here to say that oh so that we know oh you're accurate on this and that that's not where i'm coming going to rather now when i was praying i wasn't even praying about crypto at all and that's what i got i heard this guy cry guys it was a very loud cry and he wept and he shouted oh lord like his portfolio is down more than 50 percent fast forward when i woke up and during that time i couldn't do a video because i was i'd done some other videos i had to edit i didn't have space for all of that and i'm limited on gadgets that i do i use and all those kind of stuff as well so while i was you know meditating on that I noticed that the markets were going down dipping 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 now i'm not here to only tell you about a dip i will not be surprised guys if another dip is going to come it may not come maybe it may not come in like the entire market or across the board but in some coins it's going to be deep again now i'm not a bearer of good bad news because i think that um some people have come to the comments like oh the dip you're talking about it has happened i may not be surprised if some of the coins that you have still dips more than not, not 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 like more than 50 percent so the minimum may even be 50 percent some of the coins that you hold may dip more than 50 percent down but there's still hope you know the other day i was praying and the lord gave me the book of um um isaiah isaiah chapter 51 and when i opened to it verse i read from verse 1 to 16 and i think it was like verse uh 14 there about or so i think if i'm editing the video I'll talk about it said that I will not let you be in the dungeon It's going to raise you up so that's a hope even though we go to the dungeon our Lord is there in the mountain he's there in the ocean he's there everywhere and anywhere we go our God is still there the most important thing guys with this world transfer and in this world transfer is that your faith should not be shaken our God is for us. Remember when the children of Israel left Egypt, when they were about crossing the Red Sea, that was like the toughest moment of their times and of their life because they never knew that they would even face something as terrible as that. But the Lord saw them through. You know, I'm here to say this. 
stay put. Have faith in the Lord. No matter what you see your portfolio going to, trust in the Lord. The most important thing that you've done is heed to his instruction. In this season, the Lord is going to save people that are not of him. He's going to save people that don't care about him. He's going to save people that are after their own things. Some people said, oh, techni technical analysis failed them. Yes, re but remember this, world transfer is more than crypto. So go ahead and begin to diversify your portfolio as well in whatever it is that you are investing. Now, I want to say this. When I heard this guy weep and wail, I was like, oh my God, my heart was beating and crying. And also, the thing the Lord had told me before, prior to this, about um, security. Take it seriously, guys. If you can buy a cool wallet or whatever wallet it is, buy it. If you know that you, you have maybe just one phone, don't go about clicking things that you have no business with. Don't listen to anybody telling you to send your seed phrase, telling you to send your, 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 your email address and the password of any exchange or whatsoever. Do not listen to those scams. That, those people are just there or coming to eat your heart and money. Don't fall for that. Don't listen to any or don't pick up or answer phone calls of people claiming they are from wherever trying to do whatever. I'm not saying that you should go out there and be rude to people, but make sure that whatever it is that they are doing or saying, you have to make an informed decision as well, guys. Listen, prayer is inevitable. If you are sitting there and you think in your own mind or your wildest imagination that you just sit there and then money will come to you, lots of money for that millions and billions of dollars will come to you. You are joking. If you don't pray, because you know, the, oh my God, thank you, Lord Jesus. That's, that reminds me, there's somebody also you're watching me. The Lord has been telling me about you. I was going to write it in, in the community tab, but I forgot. Now it just came to my mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please guys, permit me to say this. There's somebody you're watching me. Let me know in the comments below if you are that person, or oh, I'll just pray for you now. There are holes in your hand. I know it may not make sense to some people, but this guy, there are holes in your hands. Or this person now, there are holes in your hands. Like in your palms, there are holes. When I say holes, I'm not meaning like, you know, like in Africa, they say like a water hose. Or in the US or Europe, they'll say water hose. That's not what I'm talking about. Like a hole, H-O-L-E. Uh, -E. In both of your palms, there are holes in there. Meaning that there's nothing good that stands in your hand. Finances, everything is going down the drain. If you are the one, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, I'll just pray for you. Distance is not a barrier. I pray in the name of Jesus that let the holes be sealed up in the name of Jesus. The Bible records that the palms of the Lord Jesus, they were nailed on the cross. It was nailed so that you and I can be set free from anything. It may not only be you, but anybody under a lot of financial oppression and a lot of stagnation and a lot of wants, lack and all of that. I pray in the name of Jesus, let the mercy of the Lord speak for you in the name of Jesus. And I command that hand, let that hand be sealed up in the name of Jesus. Let the holes be filled up in the name of Jesus. Now you begin to count money. Now you begin to hold good things treasures in your hands in the name of jesus there's another person as well you're watching me and i see that your marriage is having a tension because of a baby now it's not that there's a baby causing the tension it's that you people don't have a baby so it's causing your marriage to have attention i pray for you as well that the lord will make you fruitful in the name of jesus the lord uh, you know, when he went to the cross, he carried fruitful, uh, fruitlessness. And the Bible records that none will be barren in the land. And he carried that fruitlessness so that you can become fruitful. I pray for you that you'll be fruitful. I don't know whatever sex of the baby that you want in the name of Jesus. The Lord will grant your heart desire by fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you grant their heart desire in the name of Jesus. I pray for your husband, my sister. He has a, a, a low sperm count. I pray Pray that the Lord will rectify that issue because of him. They are thinking that it is you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be rectified. Lamando velila manosa vela kata. Let it be rectified in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that they that know their God will be strong and they will do exploits. My sister, if you are the one, look for a fruit and I pray in the name of Jesus. Maybe you can come back and you pray on it on that fruit and say, Lord, as I eat this fruit, I'll be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Lika dosa vela I 
pray for you and your partner, your spouse. You will be fruitful in everything that concerns you. You will be fruitful in Jesus' name. We pray. There's another person as well. You're watching me. Um, the Lord, uh, uh, sorry, you went to the dream. The Lord is telling me about you. You slept and you noticed that someone hurt you. I don't know if it's with a gun or like with a knife, but someone, uh, you know, like attacked you. You like you were attacked in your dream. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that evil mark upon your body from the enemy. It is removed now in the name of Jesus. It is removed and you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible records that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Let the blood of Jesus wipe away every evil mark of the enemy over your life, your career, your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let my know Nayata. Oh my God, guys, I didn't plan for this. And another person as well you're watching me your name is Anna I don't know if it's Anna or Anne now because you know different parts of the world call the same name differently I don't know Anna or Anne I pray for you there's an um, an opportunity or an open door that is coming for you Anne I don't know if it's Anne or Anna now there is an opportunity that is coming to you I pray that you will not miss out in the name of Jesus whatever it is that the Lord has planned for you it will come to pass it will come to pass it will come to realization in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Ghost I don't know if there's somebody watching me your name is Roger or Roger I don't know how you know they pronounce it you know like I said different people from different places pronounce it differently I don't know if it's Roger or Roger or Rogers I don't know one of those I pray for you for open doors in the name of Jesus the Lord will open doors for you I see a business opportunity Roger coming for you as well an open opportunity it's coming for you in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray guys Ooh, I, I wasn't planning for that now I don't remember what I was talking about guys I don't know I think we're talking about security something like that but I don't know I truly can't remember but take your security very seriously and make sure that you ha still have faith in the Lord. The good work that he has started, he'll take it to completion. Without further ado, guys, God bless you. God bless you. And there's another person. Your name is Susan. Susan. Or Suzanne or Susanna or something. If you're, you, you're, your name or Susie, if that's your name, I'm praying for you. I don't know if the enemy, if you're sick now or the enemy is still wanting you to be sick. I don't know if it's already materializing now in the physical, but spiritually the enemy wants you to be sick. I pray for you that every arrow or agenda of the enemy over your life, you will not stand, you will not come to pass. You are healed if you're already sick in the name of Jesus. If it's still to manifest in the physical, let that sickness be terminated in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Guys, spend time in prayers. God bless you. Until next time. Shalom.